This poetry reading is dedicated to those who signified their interest to join us this afternoon. Shout out to Dr. Romel Manzon for your support. Please join us next week at 2 p.m. in the afternoon by God's grace. Sonnet 116 by William Shakespeare Let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediments. Love is not love. Welcome to Exeltro Online. Good afternoon, dear Exeltro viewers. This is to inform you that we postponed our scheduled first ever live stream due to some technical glitches. We hope that you'll still join us next week for our first ever live stream. Bear with us. We are still learning the technicalities of live streaming. All the best. And for those who are interested to read their poetry, to recite their poems live, please email me. This poetry reading is dedicated to those who signified their interest to join us this afternoon. To my friends there in India, in Oman, and uh, the other parts of uh, the Middle East. Thank you very much for your support. Shout out to Dr. Romel Manzon for your support. Please join us next week at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. By God's grace, we'll have our first ever live stream. But for now, let me read this poem by William Shakespeare. Sonnet 116 by William Shakespeare. Let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediments. Love is not love, which alters when it alteration finds, or bends with the remover to remove. Oh no, it's an ever fixed mark that looks on tempest and is never shaken. It's the star to every wandering bark whose words unknown, although his height be taken. Love's not time's fool, the rosy lips and cheeks, within his bending, sickles, compass come. Love alters not, with his brief hours and weeks, but bursts it out, even to the edge of doom. If this be error, and upon me proved, I never read, nor no man ever loved, that's the lovely sonnet written by William Shakespeare that conveys that love is unconditional. For all of us, my dear friends, we should love others unconditionally. Particularly for those who are married, you have to love your husband or your wife or your spouse unconditionally. If we consider our love for poetry, our love for literature, I do hope that we do love poetry, we do love literature unconditionally. Whether we're happy or sad, victorious or downcast, let's use poetry to express our emotions. Let's use literature to convey myriad emotions. Let's appreciate literature in all its forms. Thank you very much, dear Exceltro viewers. By God's grace, see you next week at 2 p.m. for our first ever live stream. Bear in mind, Let's always be a blessing to others.